Finally, the time for my parents to meet you in person, and they went ahead and did something so crazy to you? I'm sorry, George. I always knew that my dad was a bit of a jerk, but I never expected that he'd do something like he'd done today. We should all be happy that he was only willing to talk to me like that today. I was thinking he might punch me or something with the way he was talking to me. <laughs> I didn't think he'd be so rude to you today, though, saying all those horrible things and asking questions like that. It's over now, between you and him, right? Well, yeah, it is. I'm sorry that he wasn't so happy with me. But I have to say, I understand where he's coming from after what he said. He doesn't want to lose his cute baby little girl to someone like me. I'm guessing that the thought of you becoming my wife has really been getting to him lately, and that's what led to something like this. But you have to agree that what he did today was taking things way overboard, right? He asked you out of nowhere whether you'd done anything to me or not yet before our marriage. And when you tried to explain things to him after that, he didn't even listen to you at all. He might be my own dad, but I think I can't take any more being around him. I'm just tired of my dad being this kind of a person to people. He is living his life like it's still a hundred years ago, asking and doing things like that. And I'm not even his little girl anymore, right? I'm 30 years old now. No matter how old you get, you're always going to be his little girl, right? So there's no change in his mind on that one. I'll be alright, so you don't have to worry about what happened anymore. I'm sure that someday, things will become better between us. I really hope so, but... Well, if my dad says anything else strange and out of line to you like that, then let me know. I already told him to never talk to you again like that, as it was totally unacceptable and embarrassing for me. But I don't think he even listened to that from me. He was so upset today that he probably won't even remember half of what he said to you. Understood. If anything else happens between him and I, then I'll let you know. But you really don't have to get worked up over all of this, alright? I'll talk to you later, Maggie. I am not interested in ever accepting you as part of my family. Excuse me? Is that you, Richard? Well, thank you for meeting with me today. Hey! I am not going to allow you to even talk to me with such relaxed talk, alright? Did I say that you could be thankful for meeting with my wife and I today in front of my daughter? I'm sorry, but I just assumed it'd be right of me to say thanks for taking the time out of your day to come and see me for the first time. You will talk to me as though I'm your superior. Call me Mr. Stevens, okay? Understood, Mr. Stevens. But once I've become a part of the family, would you still like me calling you by your last name? You think you're ever going to become a part of my family? I won't allow that to ever happen. You can say that all you'd like, but Mrs. Stevens, I completely understand your worries over your daughter being married to someone like me, but her and I have been together for over two years now, and know one another very well. The whole reason we plan to get married now is because we are so serious and caring about one another. I plan on continuing to care for Maggie with all my love and strength and will make sure she is protected at all times. I do not want to even hear that kind of talk coming from you. You should have asked me two years ago for my permission to date her before coming this far. But you never did, and today you thought you could get away with asking for my permission to marry her? What were you thinking? You should have been more than aware that someone like me would say no to that. So, is your reason for not being very fond of me, due to the fact that I never came to you first years ago to ask for permission to date your daughter? I was never told by Maggie that I should have done that before taking her as my girlfriend, so my apologies. But, Mr. Stevens, will you please allow me to be your daughter's husband? You're talking to me like that again! I will never allow that! I'm sorry, but your daughter is extremely heartbroken right now. I would really like it that the two of us begin to make up a little bit, so that our heart doesn't have to continue being broken as it is now. Huh? 
What the hell are you talking about, George? I'm the only one that needs to care about my daughter's heart and her needs. You are not allowed to even speak of her in such regard. I am not going to allow you to be her husband, so my answer is no. Now, take that answer and leave my family alone. Even if that's your answer to us, her and I would really like to marry one another. What can I do to get you to be happy with our decision to marry? I want you to cancel that wedding of yours and end your talks of marriage. I'm sorry, Mr. Stevens, but I cannot do something like that. Maggie and I have been talking about this for months now, and we already have the whole wedding planned out. There is no way on God's green earth we're turning back now. I see. Then I guess I'll have to take things into my own hands with you. Excuse me? If you think you can continue to defy me like a child, then I'll have to pull out all my tools to deal with you. It's going to be too late for you to regret all of this now. <laughs> I'm not really sure what you're trying to say to me right now. I really just wanted for the two of us to become close to one another and happy about Maggie's happiness. Has what I've done made you understand what I meant now? <laughs> I told you it's far too late to regret what you've been doing now. <laughs> now, you never come around me ever again. And the same goes for my daughter and wife. Are you kidding me, Mr. Stevens? Why are you laughing about what's going on right now? You just came up to me and punched me in the face three times, back to back to back. Do you think your daughter's going to be happy with something like this? Do you think I care what my daughter thinks of my actions? <laughs> Me punching you in the face like that was all to please myself. <laughs> huh? Pardon what I'm about to say, but you are completely insane. Well, maybe you shouldn't have laid a finger on my daughter without asking me first. I had to punch you in such a succession in order to call my anger towards you acting against me like that. So you're saying this all wasn't even for the sake of your own daughter, but instead as a well to quell the anger you had for me? Well, you could say that after taking three of my punches like that, I've forgiven you for laying a finger on my daughter. But now that I'm okay with you being with her, you are to never speak about what happened here, nor try and sue me for my actions. Huh? This is a strict order from me, and you are not to go against it. What did you even think you were doing hanging around my daughter all the time when you weren't even married to her yet? Come on, Mr. Stevens. You could stop it with all the BS. The only one here that needs to quit it with all their BS is you, young man. Do you really find it acceptable for you to be talking to me in that manner? Everything I've been doing is totally within my rights as her father, which includes me punching you. So tell me, what's wrong with that? I should have punched you before you gave this wedding, and maybe then you would have learned your lesson. But it doesn't matter now, as I am totally allowing your marriage with her now. <laughs> you and I will be family now, so you cannot try to claim yourself as the victim of anything around me. You do realize you've only made things worse, right? Huh? You are so freaking insane that I don't even think I can stand having you as my father-in-law now. You have to see that what you've done today has completely pissed me off. I'm going to have the wedding cancelled so you can relax now. With how things have ended up here, I can't allow there to be a wedding between Maggie and I anymore. I'm not going to sit around and let you act like that towards me anymore, you ignorant human being. You're going to have the wedding cancelled? Why are you saying such foolish things like that now? I have all my family here now, ready to see you make my daughter happy. And so what? Who was the one that punched me in the face before saying that this wedding is so important to them and their family? You and your actions are the reason why this wedding is over with. I was just punched in the face by who I thought was my father-in-law. And yet you think I'd be willing to hold a wedding still? With my face covered in bruises and swelling now? I'm heading to the hospital right now. Hold on a moment. 
You're going to the hospital? None of this should require you to be so overdramatic that you need to go to a hospital. All of this was very dramatic, actually. <laughs> also, I'll be contacting the police about this, so good luck with all of them later. What? You're going to the police about this as well now? You punched me in the face three freaking times, Mr. Stevens. Do you understand that something like that is not okay in the slightest? Were you perhaps never taught that when it comes to strangers, or even anyone for that matter, you are not to use violence? You really plan on getting the police involved in this small matter? Hold your horses, you! That's all completely unnecessary, telling the police about this. You even told me before that we were both supposed to be family now, right? You think family members are supposed to be calling the police on one another over such small scuffles? I told you just a second ago that you're not going to be my family anymore, so don't worry. The wedding is being cancelled anyway, so I will never have to worry about becoming a part of your family. I don't want to be a part of it anyway. And besides, I'm going to have to explain why the wedding is being cancelled to everyone here, and they can teach you later just how upset and disappointed they are in you. Maybe then, the embarrassment of all of that will teach you what you did wrong today. You stop all of that right now! You are not allowed to cancel this wedding to Maggie. I will not allow it! Who gives a crap what you allow? <laughs> I want to ask you, did you really think that what you did to me would be acceptable with your family and friends? By the end of the day, the police will be here looking for you, and you'll have to be taken into custody for your actions. It might even become a part of the news later on, and the whole world will be aware of the monster you let yourself be. Excuse me? If you do something like that to me, you'll be breaking Maggie's heart! You telling me that you don't want to be a part of my family, and saying you'll cancel the wedding are both terrible sins to commit! And being punched in the face three times by my bride's father is one hell of a sin as well. <laughs> I've already been talking with Maggie anyway about what to do with you after everything you did. And she's told me that she's speechless and no longer wants anything to do with you anymore. I think after today, we'll be removing you from our lives and then have another wedding with you not invited. Now you hold it right there. Did Maggie really say and agree to that? That's right. You took things way too far this time. And now even your own daughter has had enough of you. Do you get it now? All I did was give you a few small punches to the face. And you're going to start all of this? I was just doing what was right of me as her father. Did you know that she's always been aware of you, acting like a complete fool, ever since she was a little girl? Well, unfortunately, this time, you've really done something she didn't like. And that was using violence as a way of trying to handle me. Using violence? I only did that because you were laying your hands on my daughter. What is wrong with someone dating another person before they are married? That's what everyone does, Richard. And it's not like we were just doing it just to have fun in bed with one another. We were dating because we loved each other a lot and wanted to be together forever. And we still do. But not a single person has any clue why you think us having a serious relationship before marriage is such a bad thing to you. Well, trying to talk to you about all of this probably won't get us anywhere. You've already taken things way past the two of us discussing your views by having you assaulted me. So, it's over. You could talk with the police about your views on my relationship with your daughter now. There's no way I'll be doing that! What did I do that makes you think you could call the police on me? This should not be happening. I made sure to do all the right things to avoid having to deal with you about this anymore. Well, you certainly did do something, but not the right thing. Not a single person here is happy with the way you handled your emotions. Not a single person. What did you say? You've embarrassed your own wife. And you've made your daughter very sad. When it comes to me, 
The groom? You assaulted me and left my face looking like the doormat on a rainy day. I would not allow you to get away with what you've done today. This is all way too out of line for the average person. And I'm going to make sure something is done about you so that no one else is harmed. What do you mean, out of line? I did all of this because you were acting out of line. Is that so? Well, that's all the more reason why I think something is seriously wrong with your head. To the average person, what you've done is not acceptable, and is also illegal. Ugh, I don't think saying anything more to you about this is going to do you any good. Just enjoy your chat with the police, and maybe they'll be able to open your eyes a little. You want me to talk with them? Are you really planning on having them come after me and arrest me? Of course I am. I'm already at the hospital now, and the doctor is about to examine my face and head to see if you concussed me at all. What? You're already there. And you really plan to take things this far overboard? I told you this isn't taking things overboard, because you already put us in the water. <laughs> You really did something terrible today, Richard. I've already told the doctor to bring the police in, so that I can explain to them what happened today. You really don't have to do something like that. You'll only be making things worse for Maggie if you have me arrested. She'll be made even more sad, right? And that's why I already spoke to her about what to do with you. Huh? Well then, what did she say about me? She said that you've done something horribly wrong, and that you need to be held responsible for it, and face your punishment. She has a dad like you, but thank god your mom was around to raise her into an individual with some common sense. So you're telling me this was all her idea? She wants for me to be taken into custody and everything too? Think about this with a level head, you idiot. You punched me in the face three freaking times. The doctor has said that my nose looks badly broken, and that I'll need a quick x-ray of it. Huh? That bad, huh? Did one of my punches even hit you in the nose? Are you sure that's not from something else? What other explanation could there be for a dang broken nose? You're the one that did this to me. You literally broke my freaking nose, and you're just gonna sit there claiming I'm the one being overdramatic? Maybe I am, but at least it's warranted coming from me in my condition. You think that I'm not going to get the police involved because you're supposed to be my father-in-law? Unbelievable. Can you just settle down a bit first, George? I think I just happened to be a little confused was all. You just happened to give off the appearance of some loser that wanted to take advantage of me and my family. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to break your nose or anything like that. Maybe my punches were just a bit too strong. Or perhaps you just need to be drinking more milk. <laughs> You're too late now, Richard. I'm sorry about what I did. So take that as you may. I promise I won't say anything more to you. So once you get that nose fixed up, come on back to the wedding and let's get this show on the road. How does that sound? I want to see you marry my daughter today. Right now, both my wife and daughter seem a little weird about me, so I don't want them to get the wrong idea. If so, things will only get crazier in my family, right? And it won't just be my family, but you as well that'll have to deal with it, right? Your family isn't going to become crazy because of this. Rather, they'll just be getting rid of the one person who has no common sense. What? If you really happen to care about your family, then you would have been fixing that behavior of yours a long time ago. But you are just a selfish old man who says that punching me was all to quell his anger. You really messed up this time, Richard. I really pray that you learn a thing or two from this after today. I've already learned! I've already learned a whole lot right now, so you don't need to worry about me. I want to build a very strong father and son relationship with you. Please take care of Maggie for me. So please don't call the police, 
Alright? I've already spoken with them. <laughs> and they're all on their way right now to come and get you. You're lying, right? I'm not going to be coming back there today. So you can talk with them about what'll happen to you next. I'm also expecting that you won't be allowed to see me anymore after today. Nor will you be seeing Maggie anymore either. But don't worry, as I'll take great care of her. Now you just settle down and let the justice system take care of that bad behavior of yours. In the end, the police arrived at the wedding and were able to arrest Richard right then and there. And after that, he was taken into the police station for questioning, while other officers stayed around the event to question some of the bystanders. But this didn't all stay quiet for long, as news of it started to appear on the news. The company he works for also found out about what he'd done, and it became a huge issue there. And as for his wife, she's in the middle of getting a divorce from him. Richard has just lost pretty much everything to him, from his family to his work, so this would be the perfect time for him to rethink his way of life while in that cold jail cell. I was able to finally get rid of that monster once and for all with the help of Maggie. And a little while later, we were able to get married and have the most amazing wedding. And as of right now, the two of us are enjoying our loving life together as husband and wife. The only thing that had been getting in the way of such a life was that old violent man who only cared about himself. Zoe, dear, how are you not so ashamed of yourself right now? Huh? Wendy? What do you mean? Well, I was just out in town when I saw you walking along with some other man who wasn't my Henry. You were laughing and smiling like a little girl with a massive crush. I mean, you're married to my son and you're out there flirting with other men and going on dates with them? That is definitely not acceptable. Hang on, you just saw me in town? Yes, I was out doing my morning shopping and there you were, brazen as anything. It's not what you think, Wendy. Honestly, there's a reasonable explanation for all of this. Oh, please. As if I haven't heard that excuse before. I told Henry that he was making a big mistake when he married you, and what do you know? I was right. He should have just listened to me when I told him to dump you and leave you at the altar. Hang on, you actually told him to leave me at the altar? Yes, and he should have done it too. It would have saved him a lot of time, effort, and money. I mean, you've just gone and cheated on him. Now he's going to have to go through a whole messy divorce and everything. Oh and my friends will just have a field day with this gossip. They'll be hounding me, asking me how I could let my sweet boy marry a horrible woman like you. Look, Wendy, I'm not sure where you've got this idea that I'm cheating on my husband, because I'm not. I'm very happy with Henry. If you just come round to the house this afternoon, I'm sure we can get everything cleared up, okay? Well, if you say so, very well, I'll come round. But you better have a good explanation for what I've seen today. I do, don't worry. Just come round around two, okay? I'll be back by then. Uh-huh, sure. Henry, dear, do you have a moment? Mom? Yeah, I've got a moment to talk. Is everything all right? Well, no, not really. What's wrong? Zoe's cheating on you. What? Yes, I saw her this morning, walking in town with some strange man who I had never seen before. I swear, she was flirting with him nonstop. It was terrible to watch. I, I, I don't understand. I did tell you not to marry her, didn't I tell you? But you just ignored me and went ahead and did it anyway. Now look at the situation you're in. And with your birthday coming up as well, how horrible can she get, huh? I say that you should just divorce her now and be done with it. There's no reason to be upset. You can do so much better anyway. You could finally take Linda's girl out on a date. You know, the one I tried to set you up with before this harlot came along. Susan is still lovely and single, and I'm sure she'd be more than happy to go on a date with you. Whoa, 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 whoa. hold on, mom. I'm not just going to walk out on Zoe. I want to know what's going on for real. 
I'm gonna go home and have a chat with her about it. I'm sure that this has just been one huge misunderstanding. She'd never do something like that to me. We love each other too much for that. Yes, well, she clearly doesn't love you as much as you love her. Honestly, Henry, just listen to me for a change and leave that woman. She's no good for you. Mom, please, just don't, okay? Fine, fine. Thank you. I've got to get back to work, but I'll have that conversation with Zoe tonight, and I'll let you know how it goes. Yes, okay. I look forward to it. I'm sure it will be a very interesting chat. Honestly, Zoe, what are you doing? Have some decency, will you? I mean, who just prances around their home in their underwear? What if someone knocks at the door? Huh? Wendy? How on earth do you know what I'm doing? Huh? Oh, well, uh, lucky guess. You seem like the type of woman who would do that. And I just think a text to remind you not to every now and then is for the best. Right. Anyway, your dinner is going to burn if you don't go to it. Probably. You might want to get that sorted for when Henry gets back home. He's going to be hungry after work, and I want to make sure that my boy is getting what he deserves. In all aspects of his life. Huh? What do you mean by that? Nothing. Now take your potatoes off of the hob before they boil over, and get dressed for goodness sake. Okay, Mike, I honestly can't deal with this anymore. I am so stressed. I'm just going to have to tell Henry the truth. What do you mean? What's happened? Well, you know last week when I said Henry's mom saw us in town? Well, she's gone and told Henry that I'm cheating on him with you. Henry asked me if I was cheating on him, and of course I told him I hadn't, but then I didn't want to say anything about you because I wanted it to be a surprise for his birthday. But it seems like I'm going to have to tell him, because he's just getting more and more tense. He could tell I was lying when he asked me if I had been spending any time with men who aren't him. Not to mention that this entire week Wendy has been messaging me out of the blue, commenting on things I've been doing whilst I've been at home. It's like she can see me. But I know she's not, like, lurking outside of my house or anything. I feel like I'm going insane. It'll be okay, Zoe. It's almost Henry's birthday. Just a couple more days and we can reveal our secret. As for his mom, have you ever thought that maybe she's bugged your house with some cameras or something? She wouldn't do that, surely. You don't think she'd do that, do you? I'm not sure. I I've never met her after all. But from what you have told me about her last week, I wouldn't be so surprised. Well, maybe there's a way that I can check? I mean, if she did set up any cameras, I bet it was so that she could film us together in the house and use it as so-called evidence to show Henry to get him to leave me. No offense, but your mother-in-law sounds kind of crazy. Yeah, tell me about it. Ha! Huh, I knew it. I knew you were lying to me, Zoe. I saw everything. I know that you just let that man from the other day into your house. I bet you two are going to go and cheat together. Well, I won't let you. I'm calling Henry right now, and he'll be right over to sort everything out and finally divorce your butt. And don't even think of trying to lie your way out of it. I've got the footage on my phone from the mini cameras I put in your house. I bet you didn't expect that now. Did you, lol? Henry will leave you in no time. Just you wait and see. Huh, so you did hide cameras in my home. I mean, I'd kind of guessed you had, but the fact that you just told me so willingly makes things clear. Huh? Oh well, I can sue you for invasion of privacy and all that, you know. What? No you can't. Besides, You'll be the one being sued for breaking my poor Henry's heart with your adulterous ways. In fact, I'm going to tell him right now to go home and catch you in the act. I mean, how selfish can you get? On his birthday of all days. Henry, quick. You need to go home now. Zoe's there with some strange man. The one I saw from the other day. What? Okay, I'm on my way home then.
Zoe, I demand you tell me what's going on. Why is Henry hugging that man like that? Why would he hug the man you're cheating on him with? I'm so confused. Tell me, what's happening? Oh, Wendy, yes. Well, if you had actually come to have a chat the other day, you'd have known that this man, Mike, is Henry's best friend. The two have been separated for quite a while due to Henry leaving the army and Mike staying in it for a little while longer. When I heard that he was leaving the army as well, I took it as my chance to surprise Henry, who I knew would be so grateful to see Mike again and spend some time with him. They were like brothers when they served together, and I knew it would mean so much to both of them to see each other again. But, but that's not right. You were cheating with that stranger. That's what you were doing. No, actually, that's not what I was doing at all. Unlike you, who have been spying on me for the past week. Oh, uh, about that. Nuh-uh. No way you're getting off the hook for this one. You violated not just my privacy, but Henry's too. I mean, who does that? Put cameras in someone else's home? It's crazy. Well, I just wanted to make sure that my son wasn't being lied to or anything. Is that so wrong? Yes, when it involves setting up cameras and spying on me. Henry's not happy about it either. He said that he'll be having a word with you about everything, especially the fact that you were so eager to try and get rid of me. I mean, I know we've not always been the best of friends, but I thought you at least respected me and the fact that I was married to your son. I guess not, though. Well, of course not. You're not right for my son. I know him the best, so I know who he should be with better than anyone, and it's not someone like you. Actually, Mom, I think I know who I should be with better than anybody. I don't need you to decide for me. Henry? Yes, I'm using Zoe's phone. And I have to say that I'm incredibly disappointed in you. I mean, cameras? In my home? We seriously need to have a chat about your behavior and why you've tried so hard to split me and Zoe up. It's not okay. Whether you like her or not is not even the point. The fact that I love her and that I've decided to be with her should be all that matters. I mean, I shouldn't have to explain any of this to you. You should already know what it's like to be in love with someone and not have the approval of your in-laws. Didn't grandma and grandpa on dad's side hate you when they met you? Yes, well... No, there's nothing to be said at the moment. I'm going to enjoy my birthday with my wife and my best friend. We can talk later. Okay then, Henry. Thank you. It's me again, Wendy. I just thought that I'd say goodbye for now. Yes, goodbye, Zoe. I, um, I'm sorry about the cameras. I guess I got a bit crazy there. I just wanted to make sure that my son was okay. I understand. Sort of. Just know this, though. I love Henry with all of my heart, and I would never dream of betraying him like that. I promise. Thank you. Well, I'll let you get back to celebrating. I'm sorry again. I'm sure we can maybe start over and try having a better relationship this time round. For both of our sakes and Henry's. Yes, definitely. After that whole debacle, Henry did end up having words with his mom. But luckily, she came to her senses and admitted that what she had done was wrong. She also apologized and promised not to do it again. Since then, my relationship with her has gotten a bit better. She no longer hates my guts and I can actually stand to have a conversation with her now. It's going to take a little while, but with our relationship on the mend, I think things are going to become much better. Sometimes, people just need a second chance and a chance to apologize for the wrongs they have done. You never know what it might lead to.